Hello everyone, I'm Teresa and today I'm bringing you another Minor Arcana card, the Tree of Wands. Welcome back to another tarot video. I'm so glad you are here and keeping me company in this journey through the cards of the amazing Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Today I'm going to speak about the Tree of Wands, but before I start, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you like my tarot uh, series. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I strongly suggest you to do so, to subscribe, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now to what matters most, the card. This card is the card number 3, and 3 is the number of expansion. Easy way to remember the number 3 is that um, after the couple of the number two, there is the addition of a child, making them three. So the partnership expanded, it grew. You obviously don't have to look at it this way, but it is a simple way and an easy way to memorize the meaning of the number. Two parts that come together to create a third one. So expansion, growth, something that happens and creates a new scenario. And with it, this growth of the number three. Moving on from the numbers, let's look at the card and see what the drawing is telling us. First thing to point out is that there is a man on the center of this card. He has his back turned to us and gazes forward. However, he is holding on to one of the three wands. This man wears a red cape covering his entire body, but has some green on his shoulder. The background is yellow from top to bottom, a rich golden color that invades both sky and land. But look closely. It isn't land that he is observing. It is a body of water with ships sailing. This is a beautiful scenery and it almost feels like we could be this man gazing over a river watching the boats sail away into the sunset. But what exactly does this all mean? Let us address the man first because he, he is obviously the most important element here. This man is looking into the distance and we have several ways we can see him. Some people see him as the man from the Two of Wands, descending from his um, castle walls. Others see him as another, more simpler man, a merchant or a worker, but we will get to that. Very similar to the Two of Wands, this man is also dressed in red, the color of passion and ambition. So this is his focus. However, this man also has green, which is a color more related to the fresh and abundant nature. So, in a way, this man has his ambitions, his passion and um, hopeful abundance that comes from what he loves, covering him from top to bottom. The ground that the man stands on is a solid one, probably the edge of a cliff or a mountain top. Whatever the interpretation, it is a place that allows him um, a higher point of view on the outlook of things. The ones are solid here, they are stuck to the ground, they don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon, but notice how the man is holding or supporting himself on one of these ones. This can mean that as confident as he is, he supports himself with his passion, his creativity, his work. So what brings him the sense of stability, of security and protection is exactly the same thing that fuels his flame. But don't forget that the ones are behind him. He is facing forward and his focus at the moment is the scene before him. We can see that there are boats ahead and here we go back to the hypothesis of being the same man from the two of ones or a simpler man. Let's start seeing this if we consider him to be the same man from the two of ones. He descended from his castle walls abandoning the security they offered, but he, he is still on a high point of view that keeps him somewhat sheltered, and he still holds on to want. Now, with this interpretation, we can consider the boats as the man's desire to travel, to discover, to explore, the goals he still wants to attain, and the freedom that traveling can bring. He wants to travel, but he is still planning seeing from above what the future will bring, the challenges, the difficulties, but also the opportunities and the chance to explore further. However, if we look at this man um, like he is a worker, a merchant and so on, we can acknowledge that the boats um, are sailing out to the sea with his products to reach other markets. If we have this point of view, then this man is resting after a hard day of work, watching the fruits of his work sail away, he is proud and hopeful things are working well and fruition is happening. 
even if he still supports, he needs, he needs some support to stand, he still needs the help from others. And this is a particular important thing to keep in mind for readings where business-related questions are at hand. Maybe financial independence isn't yet a reality, or it isn't time to dive on our own just yet. Now, the yellow background brings us that soft, warm sunset. The day is almost over and the deed is done. Sunlight will soon be over. And what can we take from all of this when doing a reading? Well, it will depend on the question at hand, the spread, the other cards and so on, but you already know that. If we get the Three of Wands on a reading, it, it is a confirmation that there is growth happening. It is a time of productivity, of expansion, of growth. Most of the work is done and you are now well established or at least more secure of your ground and by feeling the security you are allowing growth to happen. In a way this is a similar card to the Two of Wands but where the Two of Wands is still planning and preparing for the next adventure, on the Three of Wands you already took the step forward and are about to get results of your work. At least you can already see the positive things happening when you look into the horizon. You worked hard and set things into motion, you had the guts to take those first steps and now the day is coming to an end, so you can rest and see the unfolding of events, waiting for the time to collect the fruits of all of this hard work. When we get this card reversed, the meaning changes quite a bit, as this can be a warning card that something needs to be reviewed before fully committing to it. When the picture is upside down, the boats are turned upside down as well, and they can end up sinking if we don't get them stable before water starts to leak in. So there is something shaking these waters, your confidence may be failing you, or you may be lacking support from others and all of this is affecting your self-esteem and even your uh, will to keep working and making an effort. Deep down you know you have the vision and the passion to follow your dreams and goals but somehow you are not believing in it and this is affecting the outcome. Review where you slipped along the journey, where things failed or didn't work properly, take more time to evaluate um, how to reach the horizon you seek for either by more study or more work. And this is everything for today's video. I hope you had fun and that I could be helpful to you. Let me know your opinion and perspective of the Tree of Wands. Uh, I would love to hear if you have a different interpretation of this card and how you work with it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can get a notification every time a new video is out. And if you want to know a little bit more about myself outside of this world of YouTube, you can find my other social media links on the description box down below. There you can also find my Ko-Fi link if you want to donate to help support my channel, it can be as cheap as a cup of coffee, but makes the world of difference to me since I don't have my channel monetized. I do videos for the sake of doing them and having fun sharing with all of you. And with that said, I hope to see you on the next video for the next card. Stay safe! Bye! Thank you.